My name is Judy Gold. You may know me as a stand-up comedian, but I'm also a single mom. My ex and I have two children, Henry, who's 14, who my ex gave birth to, and Ben, who's nine, who I gave birth to. She's very... Loco. Very exciting and very unique. She's special. <laughs> Along with my new partner, Elisa. Delicious. Our Manny. My name is Matt. M-A-T. You really only need one T. And our friends and neighbors. I'm playing hockey. Woo! We make up a real modern family. I'm so glad everyone's here tonight. Great. Oh. Stop it. The thing about the morning is, you know, I work at night. You know, I am a comic. So I have to get up really early and get these kids ready for school. And I'm not a morning person. Sorry. I'm dying. Slow death here. Ben and I get up first. We hang out a little. What do you want for breakfast? Oatmeal. I wasn't the one that wanted kids. My ex was the one that wanted kids. And I was like, oh, God. And I ended up being the mom. I'm the mommy, which is really sad for them. Who's eating all the peanut butter? I think Matt is. I am Judy Gold's Manny, male nanny. I think he brings his own peanut butter. I definitely feel like I'm part of the family. Yeah, he does, but sometimes he uses ours. I mean, we're friends. Well, I don't like that. He's not allowed to have our peanut butter. <laughs> Should we get Henry up? Yeah, sure. You care. can. I'm not. You can. Um, no, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. I don't want to start a fight. You know, we sort of are like, okay, should we do it now? Should, when should we do it? When should I go in there? All right, I'm waking up Henry. The world's about to end. And I know I have to do it 8,000 times. Henry, time to get up. I have to go Henry at 7.30. Henry at 7.35. Pen it's 7.42. Pen it's quarter to eight. Yeah, it is. I adopted Henry. My ex gave birth to him. It's called a second parent adoption. And I think sometimes Henry feels like an outsider. And I think he's a little jealous of that. Man, those are my sweatpants. Mommy, tell him to take them off. No, Henry, I can't do that this morning, OK? Let him just wear them. They're mine. Ben, go put on another pair of sweatpants. We got to go. Are they yours? Yes. No, they're mine. Can you tell them to take them off? No, you can't. I can't deal with it. We got to go. All right, man, come here. I'm taking them off. No, no please don't fight, please. No, you're not taking them off. I turn around for one second, and all hell broke loose. Over a f***ing pair of sweatpants. Don't touch me! Please just take them off so we can go. No! Please! Mine. Take them off. Please take them off. No, and... they're mine! Be then we're gonna be late! Let's go! I don't care! Get off. I hate you! Take them off. Idiot! It's getting on my nerves now! Now I'm annoyed! Hey, Henry, we're done! We're done now. Bye. So the kids basically have four mothers. <laughs> so, on Mother's Day, Henry was having a f***ing breakdown, going, I can't take the pressure! I can't take it! I can't. And I was like, you know what, Henry? Calm down. Just think, in a couple of weeks, it's Father's Day, you'll have nothing to do. So shut the f*** up, all right? Get hey, right. out. Did you warm up? No. I can tell, because you're not all sweaty and gross. Hi, I'm William, and I am Judy Gold's personal fitness trainer. What am I doing? You're going to sit your fat ass on a bike? Shut up. I love William. He really challenges me. Faster, go! She's aggressive. Mm, I hate your guts. She likes to attack the exercises. Three more. No! As long as it doesn't hurt her knees or her oh. wrist yeah. or her feelings. Pull-ups. Uh. Make sure you make a lot of noise. Uh. I'm very vocal. Uh. Yeah. I, I guess I make noises. Do I make that many noises? Good, make that funny face. You know, William often comments on the faces I make when I'm working out. Weird. But, I mean, I don't see myself. I have no idea what my face is doing. Mmm, magnificent. I mean, I never make faces. All right, that's it. All right. That's, if you want to stop, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Whatever. I feel like quitting. Bye. 
hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Jews talk a lot to each other, to, to their families, but never anything substantive. You know, like, I bought a brisket, it was second cut, I should have gotten first cut, it's too fatty, but it tastes better. I mean, this is the we talk about. Ad nauseum, hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. My mother's 88. Hello. I talk to her at least once a day. Listen, I want to ask you one thing. What does Chelsea Clinton do? What does she do? Now that she graduated college. I don't know. She does ask these odd questions, like, what does Chelsea Clinton do for a living? And uh, then I find out what Chelsea Clinton does for a living and call her back and tell her. Uh, I found out what Chelsea Clinton does. And yeah, what? Well, she used to work for a hedge fund, then she got her master's in public health at Columbia, and now she's getting her PhD at NYU. Oh, okay. Elisa's here. Hi, Ruth. What's going on with you? We're gonna make dinner. Okay. All right. Bye. So long. So long. You know, I love Shabbat dinner because it's family time. Hi, Marge. Hi. I'm making two chickens. Mm -hmm. What kind? I'm just putting garlic, paprika, onion, so you're roasting and carrot. Them. Yeah. Okay. Is Don't that put okay? In the water. Don't put any water on the bottom. Why? Because you don't want it to steam. I just read a whole thing about roast chicken. Well, I'm putting onion on the bottom. That's okay. And then I put paprika and garlic on it. Have you already done that? No, I haven't even put them in yet. Oh, okay. Why? Oh, uh, don't tell me I'm not putting paprika and garlic on it, because I'm putting paprika and garlic on it. I'll, I'll order a pizza. No! Why are you such a bitch? Hi, we're here. Hi. Hi. Hi, Ben. How was school? Good. Give me kisses. No. You want to put your bag in your what room? What do you mean, no? No. Ben, can I have hugs? No. What? Who's my little baby? Not me. Who do I love? Me. When I kiss him, now I think, oh my god, when is he going to say, get the f away from me. Like Henry does. What's up? Very much. I'm putting it in. It tastes like shit. It's not my responsibility. When are we starting to drink? Chayim. So, Elisa, we're back to the old pattern where I do everything and you read. That's great. That's working out really well. She's very sarcastic. I was taking a break. From what? What were you taking a break from? Sarcasm is her thing. Elisa, you just stand there, it's fine. Well, I'm just taking it no, all no, in. No, no, just take it in. When I first started working with her, I was very timid and sort of, not afraid of her, but intimidated. You want me to do that, Ms. Bella? No, please, relax. Now, I've learned to just go with the flow with Judy. You missed the spot. You know what? Then you do it. I offered to do it. <laughs> and the way she talks to Elisa and me, it's just hilarious. When I sit around the table with the kids' godparents, my girlfriend, my kids, my Manny, I think, how great is this? Chicken is moist, perfectly moist. It's Katie, great. It's delicious. This is the way Thank to make you. it. No kidding. It's not your typical family. It doesn't look like your traditional family, but hey, we're a family, and nothing I've ever done has been done in a conventional manner. She's exciting, crazy. Sort of talented. She's a good role model. She's not just like anyone because she's so tall, but if she was the average height of a woman, then she would be like a regular mom. When Prop 8 passed, we went down to the Mormon temple, and Ben was carrying the best sign. It said, my two moms can beat up your 14 wives. So. I love you. Good night, everyone. All right. Bye. So long. So long. So long.